Kirsten. This is Jonathan Kirsten with the Pittsburgh Technology Council and Tech Vibe Radio at the Huntington Bank virtual podcast studios, bringing you the best and brightest in Pittsburgh's tech sector, even when they're from St. Louis. We allow them on Tech Vibe Radio because they're working for a Pittsburgh company. And I tell you what, it's been so much fun over the past like 18 months, almost really during the pandemic. It's been so odd to see Aspirant just adding and adding and adding to its workforce, to its management team. And today's like our next installment, Tom Leaker, as I believe our like our fourth or fifth person I have interviewed. And yeah. Tom, I'm so glad to have you on the show today. I got the press release saying they, they brought time in, Tom in to be their your new CCO, which I think is just a really cool position. I want to kind of nerd out on a little bit more. I'm like, I got to talk to this guy. Like I got this good <laughs> run going with people from Aspirant. I love what they're doing. So thanks for taking the time and talking with me. And I think one of these days we're going to lure you from St. Louis and you'll nah, meet Pittsburgh. Nah. <laughs> Could be. Could be. I love Pittsburgh. Yeah. You said you lived here a few years, which is great. You know, you know, the city, which is. I did. Fantastic. I did. It's a great so, town. So tell us, man, who is Tom Leaker real fast? You've got a really cool background. And to bring your skill set to what Mike McLean and the team are building over at Aspirant, I think it's just super exciting. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I'm, I'm excited to be at Aspirant. I've been one of the people that has been kind of on the sidelines watching what has okay. gone on with this yeah, organization. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. Just, just remarkable. So I, I've been attracted to it for a long time. Um, but Talking about my background, I, I, I've spent my career in, in consumer product goods and consumer health care. Um, I started with Procter & Gamble uh, years ago, had a great training experience with them, and then moved over to GlaxoSmithKline Consumer Health Care mm -hmm. and, and spent the bulk of my career with GSK, which really offered a lot of opportunity. It's a that's, great that's, global yeah, company. Yeah, I mean, a gig like that just affords you so many ways to maneuver yeah. and just pick up skills and get experience right on. that you just can't Right on, and, and the people, you know, the, the talent uh, that a global organization like that has and, and to be able to be exposed to them and mentored by them and trained alongside is, is really, you know, second to none as far as experiences go. I, I spent most of my time Jonathan, in, in sales capacity, sales strategy, marketing, trade marketing, corporate development, and, and also been fortunate enough to be able to um, be leading teams and people and departments for, for about 25 years. So really, yeah. um, really would say my, my focus over the years has been around um, customer facing um, roles and, and leadership. So really? Um, really have tried to, to hone those things. Uh, the most recent role I had with GSK was uh, I spent about eight years as the vice president over the uh, GSK Walmart and Sam's Club business. Good Lord, man. Uh, Jeez, that's, <laughs> that's a hunk of business right there. That, that is Lord. a hunk of business. Well wow. said. It is a, uh, it can be humbling. Uh, it can be a, a tough experience, but Man, when you get a great team, we built a great team around around uh, the customer, okay. um, and really focused in on on what their needs were. We had a great run, um, some award winning uh, work we did down there. Great growth, uh, some great product launches. So had a really great experience with that. Stepped out of GSK, have done kind of my own consulting thing for the last couple of years. And then uh, early this year, started talking to Mike about Aspirant. Gotcha. And as, as, we, as we started talking about the beginning of this conversation, just really was attracted to what he's doing. So yeah. that kind of led me to uh, what's going on now. I love it, man. So cool. So in case our listeners don't know, give us just a quick elevator pitch for Aspiring. You guys are always adding capability. So I can never say I'm going to do it justice myself. <laughs> At the end of the day, I know you help companies solve really tough problems using technology. So yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the bottom line. Uh, Aspirant has uh, nine practices now, and and Lord. our our kind of purpose, and you you said it well, Jonathan. Our purpose is to enable our clients to right. perform and do uh, the uh, achieve the objectives and the goals that they want to achieve, um, and and we do it we do it kind of through a differentiated model. One of the really attractive things. Uh, that I saw in making a decision to come here was about the differentiated model 
Um, and, and for me, that's, you know, that's all about lean, lean teams. It's, it's still a fairly lean organization, but experienced people yeah. across the practice. That. Yeah. As far as at this really sweet spot, I think where yeah. it's not too big, where you get lost in the complexity and the levels, but it's not small where it doesn't have the resources, you know? So, so it's, it's got, I think, yeah, it, it, it maintains that really personal up close feel, but having a deep, deep pockets to reach into, to, to pull out the tools and the people and resources that are needed. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening is that, is that if you, if you work with Aspirant, you get really, really experienced, smart, talented people to work on your project. And, and one of the differentiators, you mentioned it, um, that Aspirant uses is technology. It's a, a, a bit of a pro pro proprietary uh, AI platform that, that has the ability to synthesize, synthesize a, a lot of data, a lot of complex data inputs. And that, that helps speed, uh, speed the delivery of solutions. Um, it allows which, humans to make better decisions. I think at the well, end of the day, better right? decisions, quicker decisions, and, right. and do it more efficiently. If you bring in a, a team of 12 people uh, fresh out of B school uh, and, and, and <laughs> launch them into a, an organization to do a lot of interviewing and, and manually collecting data, that's time, that's money. Uh, and one of the really cool things about Aspirant is uh, this tool allows us to speed up that process right. and deliver data back to you quickly and then you can quickly build a solution off of that exactly in this day speed is everything and being yeah. able to get the most out of your data is everything and bringing these worlds together must have made this very attractive for you to say i got to be cco over at aspiring so like a chief customer officer that's not a title you hear very often but at the end of the day man it's so important because without customers yeah. Don't have much of a business, right? <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day. So I guess you got to make sure your, your customers are happy, that your customers are getting what they signed up for and that you can get more customers as well too. <laughs> That's exactly it. You just kind of outlined my job description there. Uh, John, Man, I'm feeling like I'm on fire today, Tom. I'm like, <laughs> you, ah. you must have just had pizza. I, I know, think I know. did. Yes. I'm highly <laughs> like, I got all kinds of nutrition running in me right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's that is that is you 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 kind of nailed it. I mean, I kind of see my role as threefold uh, with Aspirant, and and to your point, um, one of the biggest is is the current client base. We don't want to. I don't want to do something without um, coming alongside, listening to what our current clients are doing, asking them questions. Are we showing up as help? Are we? Uh, are we providing what I like to call insane customer focus? Um, <laughs> insane and, customer and, focus. Nice. And, and delivering solutions that are enabling you to better perform. I mean, that's that's what we do. So, right. so I think first, first and foremost, it's that current client base. Then it's then it's new clients. Then it's talking to people that don't know us and bringing that message, telling the story mm -hmm. of what we've done with other clients and giving case studies and and hey, here's what we can do through our efficient model and our lean teams and our experienced teams. And then, and then I think there's a pretty big third point too, which is that uh, Mike has entrusted me to be on the leadership team. And so I have an internal responsibility relative to the culture that, that has been started, the, the, the values that have been embedded and, and to continue that. And, and that's been what's leading this great team of people to growth. Um, wow, so- yeah. So I take that seriously. I think it's it's Definitely. kind of a, a, a threefold approach in this role. Very exciting. I mean, I feel like I've seen him now assemble all these key pieces now. And I feel like, I don't know if there's any more he's putting in place. There could be, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm feeling like with the pieces he has now, it's just like, man, you guys are really preparing for some growth mm -hmm. and really just tackling the market. And I mean, so like, I mean, what, what, what are your, your, your initial challenges here as you, as you, as you, you know, kind of move into this position and really start like aligning everything to get out there and do what Aspirant does best? I think we're really, really well positioned now to move forward um, and continue what's been going on. I, I, I think our objective is to continue the growth, mm -hmm. but the challenge uh, is that everybody wants to do that. That's not easy. It's a very competitive marketplace. Lots of good big companies out there. So one of my roles, one of the areas we've added a lot of talent is around 
communication, around business development, around yeah. how we can break through the noise and, and let people know about our differentiators that you and I have been talking about here already. Okay. So um, I, I really think that's kind of what it looks like next is to, is to break through the noise, get our message out there, um, get new clients in, expand with the current client base to continue the growth. And, and we, we fully, fully intend to do that. Um, and for all of your listeners, uh, aspirant.com. So I'll, I'll know, get, well, that'll be in the liner notes there. right there. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's for sure. Hey, are, are the bulk of your customers kind of in the Southwestern Pennsylvania region, or do you have like clients across the country? How does that work? Oh, we have clients across the country and uh, even have done some work around the world. So, um, you know, the business was started in, in Pennsylvania. We've got some great, great partners um, in Pennsylvania, um, you know, really big, uh, organizations right there in Pittsburgh, but do business with global companies, um, do business in, from Florida out to California. So, um, so really all over the place. And, and that's another thing that's going on in the organization is we're yeah. hiring people uh, that are all, you know, split, spread throughout the country. So, so we can more easily reach people and it's much more common in the workplace anyway. So I'm going to bring that up. I, that's why I think it's so cool that you're able to live in St. Louis, but work for Aspirant here in Pittsburgh, because that's the way things work right now. At the end of the yeah. day, it's like we have access to talent everywhere now because, hey, you know, connectivity is not that big of a deal as it once was even like five years ago. So it, it allows Mike to get even more creative and saying Tom can be part of the Aspirant team, but he can also maintain his home in St. Louis as well. That's too. right. And then we still right. can move to Pittsburgh at some point if you want to. Okay, to I've got that. Check. <laughs> we do have a welcoming <laughs> committee here at the Pittsburgh Tech Council that will, you know, help you move boxes, introduce you to other people, like help you find a new home, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> I'm on it. We're just trying to bring as much talent here to Pittsburgh as possible, but it's okay if you're in St. Louis too. Very cool. And that, that's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. So, I mean, at the same time, I, I feel like, you know, as you're trying to pursue this growth, it creates really, it creates a ton of challenges as well too. Yeah. Because, because managing growth can be really tough. Sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for, right? Yeah. Well, and there's all sorts of challenges out there. Um, yeah. It's a new, it's a new era. You know, I mean, you know, we've, we're, we're not even really out of this pandemic yet. Um, so, so it's a new, it's a new era of business. I mean, you can, you can talk for days about how the pandemic has affected as an example, different, different businesses. Mm -hmm. But my thought on that is, and we just talked about this a little bit with the remote, it's how we all go to business right. that has changed exactly. the most and has affected everybody. Yes. So. I mean, I think, I think the companies that are are going to win and really going to be differentiated in the marketplace are those that are going to take advantage of this time around their leadership, mm -hmm. uh, transforming their organizations from a standpoint of leadership and change management, and I think secondarily is the organizations that take advantage of this from a standpoint of technology. Um, wow, that sounds like what Mike is doing. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good transition, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you for teeing that up. But yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I, I would encourage your listeners uh, to, to check us out relative to um, organizational effectiveness. Um, Judy Johnson runs that part of the business for us. And Dean Campbell runs our digital transformation business. Dean's a good but, dude. I, he was one of my interviewees. And great you what, dude. That dude is sharp, man. That's I'm telling you. I'm yes. telling you, if you've got a need from a standpoint of your Microsoft platform, building a modern workplace, your teams, your SharePoint, your you know, security is such a big deal right now with your data. Most you want definitely. to move all your data to the cloud and then app development and, and all that that is customer facing. You know, when your customers come into your business, then what are they going to see? What's their experience? We exactly. have UX designers. We have custom app development. So I would really encourage your listeners to check us out because I believe, I really do, Jonathan, that those can be, not only do you need those to stay relevant in the market, but I actually believe that those companies with great leadership and great technology can make it a competitive advantage. 
and win in the marketplace Love with it. those things as we go forward and we evolve kind of out of this current state that we're in. Most definitely. No, I know aspiring services cut across all industries. I don't think there's probably yeah. a, an industry vertical that you don't touch. But is there like a, a company size that is like your sweet spot? Like if, I, if I'm like a five person company, should I be talking to aspirant? Or if I'm you know, running a multinational, should I be talking to aspirant or somewhere in between? We have we have both, Jonathan. We have uh, we have a lot of customers uh, that are small and mid size need some help, and our hope is that we come alongside. We show up as help. Um, we get into their business with some really, really, like we talked about earlier, smart people that they wouldn't normally get from a bigger organization that comes right, in right, to help right. them. And then we expand, we build that partnership over time. We, we build it off of trust and we grow it. Um, but we are also in, uh, companies as big as GSK and Novartis and PPG and Highmark, um, doing great work with their different departments across across our talent um, practice, across our marketing practice, across our strategy uh, practice, and the ones I mentioned earlier around OE and, and um, digital transformation. So Absolutely. Um, it, it kind of, you kind of, if you listen and, and you tailor your solutions, um, depending on what the need of that organization is, then you, you come alongside in that form and fashion. Right. It sounds like you have a lot of fun in store for you. A lot of challenges in store for you, but I think that's the fun, right? It's the challenges and knowing that you got the tools and the resources to address those challenges head on and use your smarts in order to make things work. I'm just excited for aspiring. Like I said, I see Mike assembling this, this like super team of people here to really provide value to your customers and create yeah. solutions that the companies need to succeed, especially now with the world of business just changing so drastically. Now's the time to be rethinking your businesses right now. I know aspiring can really help companies move forward on so that's much right. of that. So that's right. I mean, that's exactly it. I mean, it, it, you could tell, I, I mean, I, I have, I have passion around it. It's why I came I, here. I love it. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, and, and it's, you know, you want to be part of something that you believe in and you believe you can help and, and, and do good um, while, while doing good work. So I believe that we have that. I believe that we can offer that um, is, is help with organizations on their biggest challenges um, and, and what their real pain points are. And we'll listen, we'll, we'll build a tailored solution and, and, and we'll, we'll help you and enable your business to grow. Love it, man. And my final question, I always like to know what people do when they're not just working all the time. I know work is your passion, but you also <laughs> do, you got, you got to be doing other stuff. What else do you do that makes like Tom Leaker, like super stoked and fired up to like tackle <laughs> today? Uh, I, well, you can tell I have a little bit of energy, so I need to, uh, at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, I usually uh, will uh, will go hit a run or a bike. There so you go. I'm, a, I'm a pretty avid runner and biker. Uh, we like to hike and find cool hikes uh, anywhere we can on the weekends. Um, we you love come to, to travel. Pittsburgh, you can do all that stuff. Up I know, so I have, fun. I yeah. have. When I come there, <laughs> you'll see me on the trail. Um, and uh, I like to travel. Uh, my, my wife and I like to travel and see spots we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a bit of a passion. And um, we have kids that are kind of all over the country and we have a lot of passion around going and, and embedding yeah. and getting engaged in their life. And Cool. And seeing what they're doing, my uh, my daughter is a senior at the University of Arkansas, and we're going this weekend uh, for Parents Weekend and and Dad's Day at her sorority. And I've told people that my role in that is to embarrass yeah. her. That's and, what I want to hear, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited. We we love to uh, you know to get engaged and and be part of their lives as well. I love it, man. So cool. I'm so pumped you're hanging out with Aspirant. I just think it's a, it's a fantastic story. I'm so glad you took a few minutes of your time to talk to me and let our listeners know what's happening with you and with Aspirant because it's some good stuff all the way around. Tom Leaker, you are the best, man. Do appreciate it. Thanks, Jonathan. Hey, I really appreciate you having me on. Anytime, Have a great day. Man. Anytime.